Like everything's blooming, spring has oh, arrived. Look and at you, Mister. I know. In honor of our first guest today, starring in Hallmark's uh, orig Hallmark Channel's original movie, Tulips in Spring, and she also spent time. I, can I say a florist? If you're in a flower shop, yes, is I, it? I, I, I feel like florist exaggerates my skills, but yes, I. I, Why, I we live florist, here in Hollywood. In we exaggerate shop, so, yeah. everything. Come on. So. Beautiful job. Oh, thank Fiona you. Gubelman is here with us. Thank you so much for coming back and spending time with us and showing us a little bit about your inner workings and passions towards this. Um, but Tulips and Springs also. Yeah, it's a wonderful, wonderful movie. movie. We're, we're, gonna, we're going to get into these in just a few minutes, but we want to talk about your movie. Your character, we're going to see a clip now, and your character is alienated from her father, but circumstances bring you guys back together. Yes. How, how, do, how does that work? How does well, that work? Uh, Rose is a successful interior designer living in Los Angeles, but when her father falls and breaks his leg, she returns home to the family tulip farm and helps save the family business. Mm. And while she's there, of course, she meets a handsome young broker named Tom. 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 I've heard about he's, Tom. Yeah, it's Tom. And he's, uh, he's played by Lucas Bryant, who phenomenal actor from Haven and just yeah. a dream to work with. Well, let's take a look at the scene that finds Rose in a tulip garden. Get it? All right, in the field of Tom and the new man she's met and they're discussing her boyfriend back home. Look, look, Rob is, he's a very nice guy. I mean, I, I like him a lot. There's absolutely nothing wrong with Rob. Well, then you must be really excited to get back home. Yeah. Lucky guy. I'll see you tomorrow. He missed it. He missed the moment. He missed it. He should have said, he should have looked at the field and said, do you want to know what my favorite tulips are? <laughs> Yours. Aww. That would have sealed the Hallmark moment Is right there. that one of your there. rules, Mark? That was one of my rules. Did it work? Did it? No, I don't know. No, it didn't. Uh, a little wait. too obvious, too low over the head. Well, oh, regardless. Yes. By the way, that was a real... Was that real? In the all background? those flowers? You guys, it was amazing. We were shooting in Vancouver in the spring, and everything was blooming. I mean, it's I... incredibly I, beautiful. I couldn't... <laughs> you guys, those are the, those are flowers. I actually... Pictures I took of flowers, like... Um, and those are... Some of them are from um, downtown Vancouver. Like, I would walk through the streets of Vancouver, just stopping and taking pictures of the cherry blossom oh, trees, the daffodils, oh, so and <laughs> that was me trying to make the poster for the movie. It did not get chosen. <laughs> I don't know why. It's quirky, it's quirky and fun. It's adorable. Thank wow. You. Well, Thank look, you. as we said, you worked in the flower, in a flower shop. How yes. long were you amongst the petals? Um, <laughs> I was there for a year. Oh, okay. Um, sophomore year of college. Oh, And nice. it was my favorite job. Like, I, I would run the yeah. shop on the weekends, all day Saturday and Sunday. It was just me. And when people are coming in looking for flowers, they want to cheer somebody up. They want to make them happy. Right. And so you get to be a part of that and find things that are going to brighten someone's day. Did you have a guy come in going, I really messed up. <laughs> I had to really fix this with my girlfriend. I need a thing of flowers. That, that would be Mark. That's, uh, yeah, we're just pr play pretending at a moment, okay? <laughs> <I think so. laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, what tips do you have? Um, um, well, this was, okay. by the way, I thought this this little sunflower thing was <laughs> yeah. adorable. Are these some of the tips you can give us on on flowers? Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, so I see you put a face on a, uh, <laughs> yeah. on a flower here. Well, um, sunflower. This is pipe cleaner, and it's so easy to put in the sunflower, and it just creates That's a cute. cute little happy face. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I discovered that one day because a guy was coming in to bring flowers to his friend in the hospital, and he wanted to bring her sunflowers, and he was like, "But it's not enough." And he He's like, do you have pipe cleaner? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, I'm gonna make a face with a pipe cleaner. And it was so cute and sweet. And so I think it's a wow. fun thing to do. That for would kids cheer you up, and, absolutely. Um, and the reason, and and the reason we did that is because um, what's so great about pipe cleaner is that if you ever get pollen on your clothing, 
Um, from Lily's. These are all over. You can, this are you is... missing that pipe cleaner over there? Oh, I yeah. I can go get it. It's okay. Yeah, well, it fell down because oh, you need it to show this everybody. Stuff, I will say, I I love these I flowers. I've actually photographed these. They're the best. And when they start, what is that? What, pollinating yeah, the pollen, or whatever yeah. it is? So what you want to try to do is remove the, the stamens before they no, start. No, you want to re stay away from them. You want to stay away. Yeah, because <laughs> that. The, is... But if you remove them when they're still rubbery before the pollen comes, then that's great. But if they start to have that pollen, that will stain yeah. your clothing. It's that terrible. Do you guys? Yeah, you well, you got, yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah. So yeah. if you take pipe cleaner, you do not want to put water on it. It will set it in forever. If you take pipe cleaner and you just rub it gently against the clothing, it comes right off. It comes right off. Wow. Uh, that's it. I'm it traveling really with pipe cleaner from now on. So that's a, a great little tip. That's amazing. Well, uh, I love what you're wearing. Oh, oh do you have another tip? Are those going to ask? Oh no, that was it. That was how did you got started on this? You're, you're going to show us how to make this? Yeah, yes. the floral crop. Yeah, uh, crop. yeah. So let's take a look. You got started earlier. Take us through the. We'll, we'll watch what's so in here. these are. Um, you first, you take some um, some uh, stem wire and you create the shape of the crown that you need, and then. Once you do that, you kind of just bend it together. You can also use um, eucalyptus leaves or branches and different types of plants to create that crown. So then what you do is, I, I decided to put ribbon on ours, so I used a hot glue gun, and I just went along the wire with the glue and then wrapped the ribbon around it until I got it to the right, the yeah, right amount of coverage. It goes all yeah, the way I did okay. it um, half uh, on these. So then, okay. What you do next is you take flower wire and you put you take a four inch piece and you put it through the fat part of the flower uh -huh. and then you just twist, 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 twist. Okay. Once it's twisted, you then take floral tape and you wrap it all the way around that to make it smooth. So then you just do it for all your flowers. And then once you have the flower with the floral tape and the floral wire, you just twist it and attach it to the ground. It's beautiful. Beautiful. I love That's that. I love photographing too. It's such a great picture Aww. when you when you photograph somebody wearing something like this. What's I the love these. Thing well, this is this is Christina's crown that I'm oh, you're I making. Got one. So if you want to just attach the last peony, peonies are my favorite oh, flowers. Are mine so too. I love it. All right. There there. And look, did, did we point out that you also made this for me? I made, yes, I made Mark's boutonniere. Yeah, that right there, huh? Look at there. <laughs> right there it is. Which side? Is it this side that goes up? Um, oh, up. I did it. So the, straight up and the, down. the sage would be Perfect. on top. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, it looks so pretty on you. It's I love so it. Good. I'm going to wear it. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. You know, they, they look a little dry. Let's see if we should. <laughs> <laughs> 